You need to show up for your friends. My hair is all over the place, but we in this, we in this, we finna do it. So hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Makeup Diaries with Mariah, and I'm Mariah. And as you can see, it's real, you can't see this, but it is hot as all, like, it's, it's hot up in here. But I'm doing this because it was, it was very important to me, and I'm looking for my water bottle, excuse me, um, because this was something that was, and my wig's all messy, and I'm wearing a wig today only because I'm doing something after this, and I was like, let's look different for it, you know? Let's fool some people. But, so, um, I'm just gonna get started. So today's episode is pretty much um, about something that is very, very important to me, um, and that is friendship. And I know that sounds like, oh, like, oh, you want to talk about friends? But no, it's like, that's like my gig. That's like very, very, very important to me. My friends are like my family, and it's like very, oh, I got that on my lip. Look, I'm not even looking. My hair is a mess, but that's okay, because I'm gonna fix it before I do the thing later. So, like, it's just very important to me to talk to everyone about friendship and like what it means. You know, because I feel like I keep seeing online, like, and I've seen it like the entire quarantine about like, oh, you know, if like these people aren't checking up on you, then it's time to like, you know, uh, you know, tighten your circle and blah, 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 this and that. And like, there are very valid reasons to be like tightening your circle right now. For instance, if you got going outside to go to Denny's, like I saw some people in Denny's because they didn't open up outside for two minutes and now they didn't close it back down because y'all want to go to Denny's. Those are the people you need to cut out of your circle. You don't need to be cutting people out of your circle because they're not checking in on you because we're going through a global pandemic. That's not any reason to cut people out of your circle or anything like that. But that's not the main reason I'm coming here is to tell you like who to cut off and who not to cut off because what I want to talk to you about most importantly is about who you need to appreciate in your life. About just the friend like just having an appreciation for the people who are there for you the people who show up for you your friends you know the people who can be counted on and how you need to like nurture those friendships we talk all the time about like nurturing relationships and things like that but your friendship should be equally as important to you as any relationship as any romantic relationship I think if you are having issues in your platonic relationships then you're gonna have issues in your romantic relationships because it just shows like that you can't you don't have that level of care you don't have that level of respect for other people and so how are you going to extend that to any partner that she might have and so it's very important to me just to be there for my friends in the way that they need for someone to be there for them and you really have to figure out you know what kind of friend you are and what kind of friends you have how do they need you to show up for them you know what I mean like it's it's so important to just show up for your friends the way they need you to show up for them so you can't be like a thing that I have a lot of trouble with in all my friendships is like I'm the friend who's like if I I like believe in you even when you don't believe in yourself like I if I hear you talking shit about yourself or talking down about like the kind of dreams that you have and things like that or things you can't accomplish I'm like no 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 what we're gonna do right now we're gonna lay out like a 10 point plan and we're gonna make this happen and not everybody is into that not everybody can move like that you know I am that kind of person where I'm like listen if I dream it it's gonna happen like I'm gonna make it happen because that's just what I do you know I just I love when I have a vision of something like I can and, and especially when I can see it so clearly I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen at any and all costs. And I think, I, and I don't, you know, maybe that's not a mentality that everyone should have, but elements of that, definitely. I think, and that's what, that's what friendship is about, is about completing each other. I have elements of that and my friends have elements of like, you know, uh, practicality that I don't have. So you need to find friends that, you know, not only fill you out 
in a, in a logistical kind of way, but you need to find friends that, you know, fill you out in a fun kind of way. Like sometimes you need somebody who's going to be there to carry you out the club. You need somebody who's going to be there to say, Mariah, you cannot be walking down the streets of Philadelphia with no shoes on. You're going to catch something, put on your shoes. You need to find friends who are going to open doors for you when you forget where the door is at. Because if you're that person, like I'm that person, you can't be partying with other people who are also that person. Because oftentimes you end up in bad situations if you do. So it's important to just like round out your friends that way. It's important to show up for your friends in the way that they need you to show up for them. It's important to be there for your friends in the way that they need to be there. And it's important to be honest about, you know, what's working for you and your friendship and what isn't. Because I think like a lot of times in my older friendships or when I was younger, I shouldn't say older friendships, when I was a lot younger, I was afraid to do that because I was so afraid of losing people because I was just like, you know, not the kind of person who made friends very easily. So when I did, it was like, we're friends for life. And the reason that I don't make friends very easily is because, I mean, I consider a lot of people associates, you know, like I f with you, but I don't really f with you. You know what I mean? Like, I can't really just f with any old body because I'm very like, I don't trust a lot of people and that's just because a lot of people don't have good intentions don't have your best interest at heart a lot of people are haters you know and ain't nothing wrong with being a hater if that's your job you know I mean do that but I can't have you around me hating you know or just around me being negative or just around me being stagnant or being like I need a like I don't think not stagnant in the way that you don't want to do anything with your life but stagnant in the way that like you don't want to grow as a person. You don't want this friendship to grow. You want us to be the same people because that's comforting to you. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with finding comfort in like the things that are the same, especially with everything that's going on right now, with how much is changing all of the time. I can certainly understand everybody wanting sameness. But what I need out of my friendships is people who are going to constantly just make me want to be a better person because I do, that's, I do want to be a better person all of the time. And I want my friends to be better. And that's like, for me, friends are like family, you know? I do treat them like like family because like I, I just value people who I can trust. I just value people who will call me out when I need to be called out. You know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's just super important to have those kinds of people in your life. So I'm just gonna do my brows off camera because I can't focus, so. Okay, I'm back. I did my brows. I tried to film this video the other day, but then like I did not do my brows well. And so I was just like, F it once I had messed up my brows cause that's how it be. Once you mess up your brows, everything is messed up. I can't do nothing else. Um, so anyway, back to what I was saying about showing up for your fr friends or no, I'm sorry. The point that I'm about that I'm moving on to, you need to show up for your friends. And I know a lot of people like complain about like, oh, well, like I can't afford my friends to support my friend's business. And that's okay. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. And believe me, don't nobody understand about not having it like I understand not having it. But then you have to you have to get creative. You have to figure out other ways that you can show up and support your friend because it's important to do that. It's important to let your friend know I see you. I see what you on and I'm with you 100% if I can't be there monetarily if I can't be there physically I'm with you spiritually always I'm always gonna support you I'm always gonna share your work on social media I'm always gonna share your work on this and that I'm always gonna put you on I'm always tell somebody about you I'm always gonna send you business if I can that's what you need to be on and I'm not a part of the kind of like you know rise and grind kind of people who are like you and your friends need to be talking about stocks and bonds and blah 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 because that's not what everybody's focused on. That's not everybody's goal in life. That's not everybody's, you know, that's, everybody doesn't give a fuck about that, you know? Most people who do that don't give a fuck about that. Most people don't give a fuck about money like that. And, and most people don't care about like, you know, advancing in that kind of way. So you don't need to like hold yourself to those kinds of standards, but the standards that you do need to hold yourself to is showing up for your friends especially when they need it especially if you know them well and you can tell they need it even if they can't tell they need it because sometimes your friends get so deep in the shit that they can no longer smell it and you need to be there to pull them out when they do if they're really your friend if that's really your 
If you really f with them, you gotta pull your friends out of that when they can't smell it. I've been there a few times, more than a few times, but, and I've always had just amazing friends who show up for me and support me in that way when I can't see it, when I can't smell it, when I don't know how deep up or how far up my own ass and believe me, can't nobody get up their own ass like I can. And most times I'm okay with that because I think if nobody else is going to be full of me, I'm going to be full of me. But sometimes it's not a good thing. And sometimes you can't always see that because you have on these blinders. So it's important to have some good girlfriends who can be like, Bitch, now you know you acting crazy right now, right? And then you, you'd be like, yeah. Like, you don't want to admit it at first, but you'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm acting a little crazy. But that's, that's sometimes what it takes. And speaking of good girlfriends, you know, I've never understood those women who say, oh, I don't get along with other women because women are drama. First of all, what's wrong with drama? Listen, if any bitch lives for drama, it's me. But see, I'm that friend. I'm the bitch who loves good drama. If it ain't always gotta be my drama. I like other people's drama. I'm a nose bitch. I like to be other people's business all the time, as often as I can, but I love drama. But even if it wasn't about drama, even if I was just like, you know, not a person who was dramatic or not a person who loved that kind of thing, I still don't get that. I still don't get women being like, I don't with other women. You know you the problem, right? <laughs> you are the problem, sis. Like, you don't fuck with other women? Like, I don't know what I would be without my girlfriends. Like, there are just some things. And, like, one of my best, best, best friends in the entire world is a, is a guy. You know, of course he's gay, but whatever. Um, but without, like, there's some things he just, he just doesn't understand. And so, like, you need your really good girlfriends just, like... I don't understand how you don't feel empowered around other women who are really like your bitches, like women that you really fuck with hard. Like you can just be yourself around the kind of people. And I'm only saying this just cause like we still quarantine and I'm really, really, I'm missing the homies y'all. I'm really missing my homies. Okay. Um, and just like the memories that you can create, like it just doesn't make sense to me to be like, Oh, I don't with you know women because they're too much drama like you're missing out on so many amazing memories you're missing out on so many amazing lessons you're missing out on all these experiences that men just simply can't teach you men can't aid you in that because they haven't lived that experience and this isn't you know honestly i don't give a f about shade in men f them but um just it's it's different when you have you know, a good, a good group of girlfriends. You really, really, really need a good group of girlfriends. And don't be fucking your friends. Just don't do that. I know some people make it work, but I don't believe that. I don't believe anyone has ever in the history made it work. Like, you will not convince me that someone has made that work. Save yourself heartache. Save yourself drama. Save yourself time. There are so many other people out here that you can f should you choose. Okay, so I'm back. I did both my eyes. I was gonna put on lashes, but then I just f it up. And so I just stopped. I was like, yeah, this is, this is definitely dead. But to, to my next point, which is really the point that I started with, which was, I'm just looking at my phone. How unprofessional. But um, <laughs> to the point that I started with of like, you know, your friend should be checking in on you 24 seven. Let me tell you about how that's bullshit, okay? Because uh, my best friend in the entire world, you know, we went to college, except, like we've been, we've known each other since middle school. We haven't, re we weren't really friends then cause she thought I was mean. She was right, but then she got, you know, attached to me. And so she can't get rid of me. Um, but the thing is, is like, we, we, we went to middle and high school together, but then we went to different colleges. And so we didn't really ever see each other, um, you know, except when we would like visit each other and when we would see each other over the summer. So we, we rarely, so we, we, at first, like you do when you're in college, you talk a lot, you keep in touch a lot. And then it just kind of dies down because you're both busy. You don't judge your friend for being busy. That's just life, you know? Niggas just be busy. And you can't do nothing about that. And you need to support your friend in that. But like, every time we talk, 
it's like no time has passed at all. Like nothing's changed. And that's how you know when a friendship is real. It doesn't have to abide by these rules of like when you should be calling and what you should be saying and how you should be supporting. Like that's for you and your friend to decide. That's what's most important is that the barriers or like the, the, the guidelines or like the, you know, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but the fact that the rules of the friendship are set by the people in the friendship and not by like what society deems as like appropriate uh you know as a, as appropriate you know like that's 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 just ridiculous you know what i mean like you got to you got to have friendship on your own terms i'm going through like a real bad stress breakout so if my skin looks terrible it's 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 simply because it's been real real and it be real, real sometimes, okay? Oh. And every time I put on another one of these Fenty glosses, I'm like, oh. It's sexual. Okay, so that is the final look, but I think the reason that I had to make this was just because I feel like this week I've really been like, you know, just shown by my friends just how much they really care about me. And I think it's so important to just give that back to your friends. I think it's it just reminded me of how much how important and valuable friendships are to some people to me, friendships are like family. And so when I, you know, think of people that way, it's it just like if I consider you a friend, that means it just means a lot to me that you're in my life. And I don't always get to tell people that because I don't, I don't do all that, you know. But I, I think like if I'm going to grow as a person in the way that my friends, you know, are encouraging me to grow, which is important to have friends that do encourage you to grow, I have to start learning to show love in that way to show love in the way that they can respond to and so really this is for all of them and they know who they are and i love you all you all are so wonderful but to my last point opposite that sometimes you gotta demote niggas okay sometimes they don't deserve to be called friends anymore and that's okay it's hard to move on from friendships it hurts nobody wants to do it but sometimes you gotta Sometimes you and you just outgrown each other. There's nothing wrong with outgrowing a friend. There's nothing wrong with a friendship just dying. It doesn't speak anything to what it was at its peak. It doesn't speak anything to who you are as people in a negative way. Sometimes people just outgrow each other and you got to let that happen. You just got to let shit happen in friendships in general. That's just like the general rule of thumb. Just let it happen but work at it. I know that seems like conflicting advice, but it makes sense. So I'm gonna get on out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this and comment and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to check out our website, texturedair.com and make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Textured Air. And you can also follow me on my personal Instagram and personal Twitter at Mariah, you spell that like Mariah Carey, in Woods. So bye-bye.